things very tender age my father not not only uh show me the the uh, the, uh, the the world of music but also the world of literature he he, he loved to read and then he gave me f first uh, adventure books and all that Jules Verne Emilio Salgari and then I started reading more and we had a little a little library so I, I developed uh, a passion for for reading and then for writing and then I started writing li little stories but the, 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 and then do something for, for newspapers, you know. And once I was in a, in, a, in a film festival in Miami, Andy Garcia, Cachao, uh, Guillermo Cabrera Infante, the, the great Cuban writer, and, and the president of, of the uh, um, founder of the, of the Miami Film Festival, which is not Chedi is David Nat Chediak. A Cuban, a, Li a Cuban Lebanese. So I say uh, one anecdote that was very funny that I remember. I say, Paquito, you should put that in a in a volume. Write the, all those anecdotes and and give Cabrera Infante uh, those those memories for for him to write the uh, the prologue. And I bet that some people are going to li like like to read those memories of you. Then I, I did it. I did it in Spanish, of course, and it was very successful in in, uh, in Spanish. And then I received a call from uh, Ilan Stavans. Ilan Stavans is a very very uh, important intellectual uh, Mex Me uh, um, 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 American Mexican American. <laughs> and I said, man, you want to pu publish that in in English? Uh, sound good to me. So a friend of mine, another uh, uh, jazz writer, uh, did, did the translation of the book. ¿Cómo se llama el amigo mío que hizo la traducción? Luis Tamargo, Luis Tamargo, which is a, a, a jazz writer from, from Los Angeles, did the, the translation. And that was my first book called My Sax Life. Then uh, after that, I, I, I wrote a, a novel in Spanish called O La Habana. O La Habana is, is the title of, of, of the rumba. O La Habana, O La Habana. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rumba celebrating the, the, the beauty, the, what, what used to be the beautiful city of Havana. And then, by, by, then I, I, I wrote another one called uh, uh, Paisaje y Retrato, Portraits and Landscapes in Spanish. And it's about that. It's, it's a traveling book. And now let it let us to Yeyito. Let us to Yeyito. I received a, a, a call from my friend Ilan Estaban, the, the uh, great writer, Mexican American writer and, and publisher. Paquito, I want you to write the book, a, a, an epistolary, I think is the, is the name in English, un epistolario, that. Uh, like a letter that you write to, to uh, students and you know, uh, aspiring musicians. And then I immediately I, th I thought about that letter that was written by a student with, with no, no, return, no, no returning address and signed Yeyito. So, and, and that letter that happened many years ago, I was like 16, 17 years old. So he asked me for advice. Are you possible to offer advice to a kid of 16 years old that is having a ball playing saxophone? So he said, Paquito, I want to know if it's worth it to, to, uh, to pursue a career as a musician and how you play the, the high F uh, and uh, what type of bump people. Well, you know, all those questions. But mainly that, that question that uh, you think is worth it to. to Pursue a career, and she, I didn't know how to answer that. Plus, there was no no returning address. So, at that time, I was having fun, lot of girls around me, and friends, and having fun, you know, traveling through all the island. And I decided to answer that 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 question, 50 years later. So that is the the, the that is what the book is about. Is it, is. Returning, you know, uh, not not 
not too much answering, but telling them how have been my life or how is, is my life as a as a musician in this uh, in these 60, 60 years of career. That is what, what letter to Yayito is. And I have so I have so much fun writing that book because I include the, the uh, so many people that I have known, people like, like DC and Yo Yo Ma and uh, those fantastic musicians that I have the the honor to, to share the stage. Ready, Paquito de Rivera.